Hi Dollar Divas, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be testing out some new makeup I recently hauled from the Dollar Tree. And this isn't everything that I've hauled, so I do have other products I'm gonna use another day. But I do have quite a few items I'm gonna be trying today, so. So welcome back to all my Dollar Divas. Of course, if you've watched some of my recent hauls, you'll recognize a lot of this makeup. And if you are new to my channel, first of all, welcome. My name is Jessica, and I love to do a lot of dollar store and Dollar Tree oriented makeup and shopping content. So if that's your thing, you are definitely in the right place. I'll have any relevant content listed down below, including those hauls that I mentioned and um, my Get Ready With Me playlist. That way you can watch more videos like this if you're interested. So yeah, I have quite a few name brand items. So I'm super excited about today's video. So let's just go ahead and hop right into it. So the first item is not a new product, but it's a new shade of something I already love. This is the LA Colors Brow Pencil and this is in Dark Blonde and I wanted to go ahead and try it today. I've used dark brown and I'm currently using medium brown. I love this eye pencil and I love the medium brown shade. And I thought this dark blonde shade, I just happened to see it a couple weeks ago when I was at the Dollar Tree. And I thought it would look really good. Well, I thought it would look really good because my hair's blondish. <laughs> so it's definitely adding definition. I was concerned it might be a little bit too light, but honestly, it's definitely adding definition and kind of giving me, I feel maybe like a, just a more natural brow. See the difference? So far, I am really liking the shade. And of course, I love this brow pencil. What I love about it is it's not really very creamy. It's got a little bit of tug to it, which I feel personally for me, I don't think everyone is this way. I feel like it, it makes, if a pencil is too creamy, I feel like I mess up my brows a little bit easier. So I like that this product has a little bit of tug to it. I really like that. That's a really, really nice, like natural effect. And it really matches my hair color, like perfect. So I cleaned up my brows with my Maybelline Master Camo Color Correcting Kit. I just used that to kind of cut around my brows. And I also used this LA Colors Eye Primer. So if you saw one of those hauls, you'll see I hauled three of these Wet n Wild Color Icon, and they are not trios, they are quads, if you missed it. So I'm gonna try to use one or two of these today, save another one for another day. They do not have shade names on them, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and use these two, the one that has the purples and the one that has kind of the more neutral shades. And we will save this one for another Get Ready With Me. And really, I think the only thing I'm gonna use the more neutral one for is that light shade there on the bottom. Other than that, I'm pretty much gonna dig into this one right here. So I'm gonna go into that shade right there, that more slightly orangey shade. And I'm gonna kind of put that all on my lid up to my crease. So I recently did a makeup declutter and of like my entire like makeup collection excluding my Dollar Tree makeup because that has its own separate declutter video. I will have both of those linked down below. But um, anyway, when I did my, like just my, my drugstore and high-end makeup declutter, a lot of you requested that I do more with that makeup. So if you've watched that, or if you have not watched that, if you could go into that video and find what products you would like me to use, because I would love to use the products you would like to see. So, I know that's also a lot of work to ask of you, but if there is like a specific product in there that you want to see, definitely let me know down in the comment section and I will try to put those products on the top of the list. Cause I'm gonna have a chatty get ready with me here soon. Like I have another, I have another testing Dollar Tree makeup video coming, but I also wanna just do like a regular get ready with me where I just, it's not Dollar Tree specific, it's just like a chatty get ready with me type of thing. So now I'm gonna go into this like matte purple shade. And of course, we're gonna do like a smoky eye because that is what I do. And these are going on really, really nice. I have been very impressed with the Wet n Wild palettes and things I've gotten at the Dollar Tree. I have, I think, a, 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 either an eight or 10 pan eyeshadow palette that was sent to me by one of my Dollar Divas. And then I found one on my own and those are like really good quality. And then these are really nice. Those are like really pigmented. I'm going in with like a really light hand and I'm gonna blend this in. But yeah, that is very, very pigmented. And of course, like I said, recently I've really gotten into like eyeshadow primer and the primer does not hurt. 
So I'm gonna go into that other purple shade there. It's a little bit more shimmery. It's not super, super shimmery, but it does have shimmer in it. And I'm gonna put that on, kind of see what that gets us. Because it is a slightly more shimmery shade, I am gonna wet my brush. And the way it's going on the eye is like not really shimmery. And actually it really doesn't look a whole lot different than the other shade. So I'm going to regroup and think about this. I think what I'm gonna do is just kind of blend it onto my lid. I have another, I have another idea. Do you ever feel like you just don't know what to do yourself without like a really, really, really good shimmer? <laughs> like I don't, like when there's no shimmer, I'm like, what am I gonna do? Very pigmented. I will say very, very, very pigmented and very nice and like creamy going on really, really well. Okay, so now I've just kind of get this color laid down. I need something shimmery. Now I, now I do have this Wet n Wild, it's a glitter eyeliner, but I'm wanting to kind of save that till towards the end. So what I am going to do is I'm going to go into that really shimmery shade there on the bottom of this one here. I'm going to clean off my brush. I'm going to spray it and just kind of see what I can't do. I'm going to go back in with kind of the more matte purple shade and just kind of blend that a bit. I mean like so far like I'm impressed with the quality but I'm just not really impressed with like the colors I have going on at the moment. But we will make it work as we always do. Almost always do. I'm going to do the same thing, go in with a little bit more of that like more matte purple and just blend. Once the lashes are on and all that kind of thing, it will definitely come together. Like I said, is it always, almost always does. The next something I want to do before we kind of move on with lashes and all that stuff, of course the eyes are never done at this point, but I want to go into this shade right here and I want to kind of concentrate that up into the crease a little bit more. I don't know if it's gonna do a whole lot. It really isn't, but I will feel better about it. <laughs> so I just put a little bit of mascara on my lashes. I just use the Ioni Mascara. And this is a moment I have waited for for about a month or so. I did swatch it in one of my hauls. This is the Ioni 2-in-1 Everlasting Lash Glue and Liner. It is in the shade black. So it is a liquid liner and an eyelash glue. So, we will see. <laughs> and for lashes, I'm going to be using, you've seen me use this brand before recently. I'm going to be using another style. It's the Le Flair 3D French Lash. And these are the A006 style. And I think I may trim these this time. I don't think I did last time. See, and you can actually see that they're like, they're like layered, you guys. Like, they really do look like an Ardell. You know what I mean? And they're packaged like an Ardell. Super pretty. So let me get my ducks in a row before I lay down this glue. Let me see if these do, in fact, trim. Yes, I'm gonna go ahead and just like trim, like, I don't know, maybe two units off. These were a Dollar Tree fine too. It's, this is, these are uh, Brookstone little scissors. It also came with like a nail clipper and a nail file. So I think these are gonna be perfect for trimming my eyelashes. It's like when I say two units, I like to go from the inside, although I've heard it suggested that you should go from the outside. I like to go from the inside because that's usually the less dramatic part of a lash and I like all the drama I can get. But like those two little sections there on the short end on, I guess it's your left. Sometimes I'll trim off one section, sometimes I'll trim off two. I usually don't have to do more than that personally. Okay, so I'm gonna do one eye at a time. So it's like a felt tip if you missed my haul and my swatching of this. It's like a legit, like an eye liner, like a liquid liner. And so I'm gonna lay this on just as I would do like my winged liquid liner. And this is great because it kind of makes it where you can, it's like two steps, you kill two birds at one stone, you know? Okay, so that's down. Now let's see for the big moment, are these gonna stick? And more importantly, are they gonna stay? And if they stay, that's amazing because I do have a show that I'm doing today. So if they stay, that will be an absolutely amazing thing. Y'all, this might be a miracle. Literally, this might be a miracle. I mean, they are on, they feel on, and they literally just stuck. Like, you know how, you know, with regular lash glue, you have to kind of wait for the glue to dry. I don't think that is a thing with this. Y'all, I know I have some Dollar Divas that have a hard time with lashes and they, they try. Pick this up and try it with 
this and see if it doesn't help you because I don't know if I've ever experienced something so easy in my entire life. And I've been on this earth for almost 38 years and I think that might be, that may be one of the easiest things I've ever done. Oh my word. Now I've known they have like brands, like I know this is not like a brand new product. They have, I don't know if Ardell has one or whatever, but I know this product exists and now you can get it at the Dollar Tree. Like, oh my gosh. I mean, my lashes, they're on. They're just, they're on. Blown away. Next test is to see if they stay on, but they feel more on than when I use regular glue. So I have like super duper high hopes. I will definitely let you know, but so far, this product right here is a miracle, an absolute miracle. So like I said, if you're having trouble with putting eyelashes on, try this either from the Dollar Tree or if not, go buy one at the beauty supply store, or Ulta, or wherever. So far, so good, so stoked. So my foundation is nothing new. It's just I'm gonna go with this new color moisturizing foundation. I wear medium and so I'm just gonna apply this and I will be right back. So I'm back, foundation's on. I also put some concealer on as well and I just went ahead and used my Maybelline kit. It's not a new product, so I didn't wanna show it on camera. And this is not a brand new product to my channel. I have used this once or twice, but I did do a couple videos a couple months ago for this company, so I wanted to talk about this product. This is the Be Pure Infused Pressed Powder. It's, it's infused with green tea. It's got this really nice little container and it's just kind of this translucent powder. And I'm gonna set my makeup down with this. So I, I figured I would do this on camera. Cause I also have something I wanna say too, is that pretty soon I'm gonna be doing it like just a regular get ready with me video. I just did one talking about my recent trip and some other things that have been going on. But um, I wanna update everybody on how my project is going. My project that I revealed, oh, I don't know, I guess two, three months ago. Kind of wanna do like a catch up on that and let you all know where it stands. Um, cause I've had just a lot of, I don't know, it's been a, it's been a journey. It continues to be a journey. There we go. Just wanted to set that all down. And so this bronzer is not brand new. I've only used it once on camera, but if you missed that, I found this at the Dollar Tree a while ago. This is the Ardell Vacay Mode Bronzer, and this is in Sexy Glow Sunny Brown. I don't actually, I don't really know which one the name is, but both, it says both on the back. It's just a matte dual tone bronzer. And when I used this, I really, really, really liked it. I had never really used like Ardell makeup until I found a bunch of stuff at the Dollar Tree. And I've really liked everything, like everything that I've tried. I have a highlighter that I'm using. It's actually, I used it in one of my last testing Dollar Tree makeup videos out and it was just a different shade. It's like a liquid highlighter. And so I have like another shade that I'm using today and that was really nice. And in another video coming up soon, I'll be trying some of their eyeshadow sticks. So I'll get some more products to test out. Just can't fit them all in one video. <laughs> so that just adds a really, really nice glow. Now I have this blush that I actually hauled maybe three or so months ago, but I haven't gotten a chance to use. It's the Color Made Easy Bronzer Blush. And it's by the brand Femme Couture. It's in pink glow. So it's like mainly a blush, but it's got a little strip of bronze in it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of swirl these together. That is really pretty. It's got some shimmer in it, which you know I don't mind. Probably went a little heavy handed. It's okay though, I am going to work. So that's really pretty, a really nice glow. Like I really probably don't need to be using a highlighter, but I'm gonna be using a highlighter too. So super pretty. And so this is the Ardell Attitude Adjuster Shade Effects Drops. This is in the shade Perfectly Lit. And in that other video I mentioned, I used a different shade. It was a little bit more of like a champagne. Whereas this one's a little bit more gold. And so it kind of comes with this um, dropper right here, which I just kind of go like this. Okay, I may live to regret as much as I've used. I almost always go heavy handed. That is beautiful. Again, it can be as intense or subtle as you want it to be. That gold is absolutely stunning. I think ultimately, even though sometimes these shades look a little bit more scary than like a champagne shade, things that are gold, of course, warm, goes really good with my skin tone because my skin tone is warm. So, makes sense. So I don't really have a new like pencil eyeliner, but what I do have is this Ardell 
Eye Resistible Shadow Stick, and this is in Smoky Black. I have two other shades that I'm gonna use in another Get Ready With Me, like I mentioned earlier, but this one here is just the black one, so I'm gonna try it for liner and gonna do like my waterline. Very creamy, it's doing a really, really nice job. Of course, you know, you don't have that like super sharp point, but, but in a pinch, you really just, this could be one of those things that you pack on vacation and it's a shadow and an eyeliner. Super good, that got the job done. So of course, we're gonna finish off the eyes and I think I'm gonna smoke out the bottom with that kind of matte purple shade. Actually, I changed my mind. I'm actually gonna go into that more slightly sparklier, more sparkly shade because honestly, A, I don't really think it makes a difference, but B, I think it'll be fun. So now I wanna put something under my brow bone, and I think I'm gonna go in, of course, with a little bit of that shade right there. I like to kinda of use a brush to get right up there at my brow, and then I'll like take my finger and put a little bit and just kinda of soften it out. That's kinda of something I've been doing lately. So I think that came out really nice, and normally I would also put this in the corner of my eyes, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and try this Wet n Wild Glitter Eyeliner. It doesn't really have a shade name on it, but it's, you know, it's like gold. <laughs> and it really looks more shimmery than glittery. So I'm gonna put that and see what this does on the inner corner. Okay, that's doing something. I really wasn't, I didn't have a lot of high hopes when I swatched it in my haul. But I think it's delivering. It is definitely delivering. I like to sometimes drag it up my eye as well. Okay, that did something. Not the most intense thing in the world, but it definitely did something. So I'm pleased enough. So the last items are lip products. And I've got two that are very, very similar. And I'm not really sure which one I'm going to use. I've got the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit Matte Lipstick. It again, does have, doesn't have a shade, but it's kind of like a kind of like a deep mauve. And then the Wet n Wild Mega Last Lipstick. This again does not have a shade name. But it's a very similar shade. And I think in my haul when I swatched them, this one might be a little darker. I think I'm gonna go with this one here today. And I'm not gonna line my lips. I'm just gonna kind of let them be. I'm going on very creamy. pretty I like the shade I don't love the shade on me specifically but but definitely really nice really pretty my hair is a mess you'll have to excuse me um, I did get a trim a week ago today <laughs> finally my hair was just kind of a stringy mess um, yeah like I said I like the color I don't love the color so let me go ahead and do like a little bit of like a rundown speed review kind of final thoughts on these products. For me, hands down, the star of the show is this Ioni Lash Glue Liner. Like I said, the, the final test will be how well they stay on, but y'all, I'm telling you, these feel on, so I will definitely let you know, but as I sit here right now, definitely the star. Definitely, definitely the star of this show. And then the set, kind of the second runner up is of course my LA Colors Brow Pencil, which we already know I love this, but I really like this shade. It just, it's like, it's the right shade for me with my hair color being what it is. So really love this shade. As long as my hair color is the shade, this is probably the shade I will use. So loving the shade. I thought, I didn't, didn't expect a whole lot from the shade, thought it was gonna be too light, but I personally really like it. And I did not have high hopes when I swatched it. I thought it would be too light. And let me also mention too that there are no fails. Everything was really, really good. Again, really like the shade effects drops. Of course, you can put them in your foundation. Any kind of liquid highlighter you can do that with. Or you can just put them on top. I think I like this shade better than the other shade. Just because I think it suits my skin tone a little bit better. Then the eyeshadow palettes are really... One thing I can say is they're really, really nice quality. Um, anytime there's four eyeshadows... I'm always a little bit weirded out when there's like not like I really love my shimmers so I felt a little stifled and like I said I had to dig into two like just one wasn't enough because you know how I am I, I do a lot of different shades and all that kind of thing but really nice quality and for someone that's not as much much into makeup as much as I am one of these might 
you know, be really, really good for you just for a day-to-day -day type of thing. I'm just a little extra with my shadow. Try not to be sometimes, but I can't help it. But really nice quality. I can't attest to the quality being really, really nice, especially with eyeshadow primer on. Like I said, that's been my way lately. I have come to appreciate eyeshadow primer. Then the Ardell Shadow Stick. Like I said, I used it more as like an eyeliner, and I'm super excited to try the other shades. I think they'll make a really nice one and done, all that kind of thing. So super excited to try out the other ones. And I think this one here is a good dual product. You can use it as a shadow, make a smoky eye, use it as a liner. So I love something that can be used for more than one thing. The blush is really, really pretty. I don't know what other shades they have when they made this. This is just the only one I found at my Dollar Tree, but really, really, really nice. Get a nice effect from it. Definitely say it's more of a blush than a bronzer, but a really, really nice effect, especially if you like something a little bit shimmery. The liquid eyeliner was a lot better than I thought it would be. It definitely made a little bit of an effect on the inner corner of my eye. Not as good as the Ioni one, but I thought, I was afraid this was going to be a fail, but it really was not a complete fail. Then last but not least is the lipstick, and I love the Liquid Catsuit products by Wet n Wild. I love almost everything Wet n Wild. Like I said, I'm not crazy about the shade on me, although I'm sure it looks great, like to you, you know what I mean? It's not my favorite shade, but a really, really nice lipstick. So definitely can't complain. So yeah, lots of really great products that I got to try today and I've got another one of these videos coming up soon as well to try some other products that I have hauled. So I'll have a couple playlists up here, that way if you like videos like this you can go binge watch more content. Before you do, don't forget to like this video and share this video with anyone you think may enjoy it. And also comment down below if you've tried any of these products and let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.